So there's a few cool things that are happening today. First, no more Martian winter suit. Now I'm into Martian summer suit. Very cool. It's a beautiful day outside. The sky is blue. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, really nice. So what does that mean here? It means the insulation that is inside of the building gets to come down today and the tents get to come down today as well. So I'm pretty excited to get that stuff going. So lots of stuff to start doing. It's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get started. This insulation was put up to help with the wintertime uh, heating problem that we had. If you watched, uh, you know it was quite a challenge. They did their job, but we really want to redo this insulation this year, really put some thought into it. So uh, everything is just staked in, so I'm going to go remove these stakes and we're going to get this thing brought down. If you remember, I also put in this uh, humidity management, the HVAC system as I call it, and this is all going to get redone as well because we found that it's better uh, if the humidity is sucked from the top. And uh, for all of those in physics class, uh, you can sit there and tell me I should have known better. should have paid more attention. So uh, that humidity air is lighter than normal air and goes up to the top. So we want to move this venting system up to the top of each of the lanes and then suck it all in uh, rather than sucking it from the bottom. We'll get a lot better airflow that way keep the plants a lot happier. This is cool being able to take this down. So I'm going to save this plastic because right now our schedule shows us not getting done uh, with all the projects we need to get done until past November 11th. Hey there K9, my little Martian dog. If only you had opposable thumbs it could help. In case you guys have forgotten the reason I have to use the boom mic is because of the fans and everything although I will say it is a lot quieter in here right now. What a difference huh? Uh, you kind of work all winter long in those little tents and get a little claustrophobic and you open it back up and you're like wow we got all this space. Kale over here is looking pretty nice. Uh, Mrs. Martian is growing everything. It, it seems to be doing all right. We got some things we're checking on. She just told me that she's going to be looking into iron quantity that's in there, so we're going to look into that. Microgreens, uh, peas, and everything are doing great. We've got arugula going, uh, and we have some radish going. Let me show you those real quick. There we go. A little close up there. Radish, arugula, the peas just getting going. And these peas are ready to harvest here. Things are looking pretty good. <laughs> you know, uh, prototyping has its ups and its downs. It's fun to build things and see how it all comes together. Uh, but at the same time, it's also frustrating when, if you remember, I built that entire HVAC system, the dehumidifier. It was all running right through here in the middle of the building. and. Now it's all crumpled up in a ball and put away in the corner over there. So it's frustrating, you know, building something and just have to take it apart. But the silver lining is we learned so much. We learned about the right place to put it, and um, it worked. It did its job. You know, it was good enough. Uh, but we can make it better, and this year we're going to. So now I need to take the insulation down around the outside of the, uh, the doorway, and that that's an important thing to remember is we actually want to do a completely different insulation strategy uh, this year, I think a double layer plastic just along the door itself uh, is going to be important. So that means two layers of plastic sealed on the outside with air blowing inside of it. That has a lot of air going out of it. Um, it's going to be great in the summer because we'll get air circulation through here. Uh, but in the winter time, it totally sucks because it lets all the heat out. So. Uh, if you remember, we actually had snow coming through some of these. I tried to stuff them as good as I could, but uh, they still didn't do a great job. So let's go ahead and get those things taken down. So a long time ago, I was a firefighter, and uh, I remember learning how to go up two fly ladders. And actually, then you had to do the three fly ladder. And you know, I didn't like it then, but I had to learn how to do it. And now I still don't like it, and I have to do it. Uh, so, just a necessity of what we have to do here. 
this last summer, 2016, last year, I was up all the way at full extension, up putting this building together, and that's something I don't really ever want to have to do again. So I, I tried using this uh, double-sided insulation with reflective on one side, and uh, not really the right thing for this job. Kind of comes loose pretty easily. I mean, I put quite a bit of it in here. Uh, oh, you can feel the air. Oh, wow. Huge difference. So I guess it did do a little bit, but not enough. Not enough for old man winter to stop. And then I stuffed the top of it here with just good old fashioned fiberglass, knowing that I basically get one season out of this and then it'd be junk. So, and it looks like it is. So that was right. There's that. And you had to weave all this stuff in here to actually make it work. Just a pain in the buttocks. Now, what was really neat last year is when I first put this in, uh, as soon as I put it in, this building filled up with humidity. It was quite amazing. Um, and now, and that's when we had to get the dehumidifier. It was just so, so filled. In fact, you can still see spots there. One of these days I'll figure out how I'm going to clean all that. That's got to get clean someday. And of course you remember Old Faithful here, uh, our soot production, or creosote production machine. If only I could find a really good use for creosote, because I made a lot of it. That was when we were doing the firewood. Uh, wood fired, which kept the building halfway decently warm. The problem is, it takes a whole heck of a lot of work to keep it keep the beast happy. So, because of logistics, I had to stop doing the wood. Some of you commented that I should have done a rocket stove. And, uh, you know, the rocket stoves are pretty cool and all. But here's the problem. You still got to feed it wood. And with the rocket stove, you have to feed it a lot more little wood. We were out here twice a day feeding a 55 gallon drum, uh, a bunch of wood. Could you imagine having to feed a small little rocket stove? Oh my goodness. You'd be out here every hour, unless you built a ginormous one. You'd be huge. I remember putting this stuff in and I didn't like it then. I don't like taking it down either. There we go. One door down, one more to go, and we'll be ready for summer. Nothing like the smell of fiberglass in the morning.